Hey guys, welcome to Macintosh Weekly. And today in this video I'm gonna show how to change the default airdrop destination folder on Mac. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And now, let's begin. By default, the received files via airdrop are automatically saved to the downloads folder. To change the airdrop destination, you'll need this text file. You can get the file from the description below. After getting the file, open script editor on your Mac and then copy the whole text from the downloaded text file and paste it to the script editor window. Now, here you'll need to specify the path of the folder where you want to receive the airdrop files. You can choose the folder anywhere on your Mac, only you'll need to know the path of that folder. To know the path of your folder, you can look at the path bar. To show the path bar, you can use the shortcut key, which is option plus command plus P. After knowing the new airdrop folder path, enter it here as shown. After specifying the path, save the file using command s, and save it as airdrop sorter.script. And choose the location wherever you want. Now, close the script editor and, then open the go to folder window using shift plus command plus g and, then go to the library folder. When you're in library folder, go to the following folder, depending on your Mac type. In case the folder isn't present, simply create it in order, according to your Mac type. Now here in folder actions, copy or move the airdrop sorter script. After this, you must now enable the action. To enable it, go to your current user directory. You can simply go from the path bar as well. From here, select your download folder and choose folder action setup from the context menu. If you don't see it, click services and then select folder action setup. Most likely, you will be asked to confirm service. Click run service and this pop-up should disappear. In the small folder action setup window, ensure enable folder actions is ticked. Allow all the required permissions if asked. Also, make sure downloads is listed in the left hand column, and it's also ticked. Now click the plus button plus in the bottom right to add the script to the folder. In the list which comes up, find airdrop sorter script, and hit attach. And that's it. You can now close the folder's action setup window. The script is now active and attached to your downloads folder. Any files airdrop to your computer should now be automatically relocated to the folder you specified in the script. But the first time you airdrop something to your Mac, you may have to attend to one or two pop-ups. Once you click OK on these alerts, all future airdrop files will now save to the chosen folder location, and not the downloads folder. And as you can see, the airdrop file appeared here, instead of the download folder. So, that was it, hope it was useful, consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below, thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.